hello friends welcome to my channel I hope you are liking the videos that I am putting on my channel and they are useful for your interview preparation please subscribe to our channel and share the videos please let us know what are the other kind of videos on technology topics which you will like us to make which can help you during interview questions we will be very happy to bring uh, very high quality content to you please share your feedback also with us let us discuss today's uh, Spark interview question. Today's Spark interview question is what is lineage in Spark? This is a very basic question in Spark. You know, if uh, that's normally interviews start with this kind of question. So let us start with the answer of uh, uh, this question. Let us understand what is lineage. Suppose we are writing a, a Spark job. So we loaded a RDD we'll be doing multiple operations on that RDD. Uh, we, uh, we loaded a RDD named RDD1 and then we did a map operation uh, on RDD1 and created RDD2. And then we created RDD3 by apl applying some map partition operation. And then we created RDD3 by applying filter operation. So we are doing multiple operations, multiple transformations on uh, one starting RDD and creating multiple new RDDs. So as soon as you give command to Spark that I didn't do this transformation, do this transformation, Spark doesn't immediately start uh, processing and creating your RDD and it doesn't uh, store all the RDDs that you are generating. So once you have run an action then you may like to store the final output. Spark is, you know, uh, you have loaded a starting RDD, R RDD1, and after 10 operation, RDD10 is the final output. You know, Spark is not going to store data for RDD2, RDD3, RDD4, RDD5, RDD6, and RDD up to RDD9. So Spark says that it will store the information that how RDD2 can be regenerated and how RDD can be regenerated from RDD2 by applying which operation. S Spark stores the sequence of those operations which were done on RDD1 and which led to creation of RDD10. So this sequence of operations are called lineage. So Spark is storing all the information that if you need RDDX, how can that RDDX Regenerated. What are the operations that need to be applied on RDD1 to generate RDDX? So all those set of operations, that sequence is called lineage. So Spark uses this lineage information to recreate the RDD to uh, create, you know, job plan also. I hope this answer is clear. If you have any questions, please post it in comment section. I'll be really happy to help you with the answer. I'll be really happy to explain it uh, you know even in a different way so uh, please subscribe to our channel please share this video thank you for watching this video